Hello, today I will talk about balance charger for LiPo batteries. I'm going to talk about IMAX P6 charger, which is a universal charger which can charge many different types of batteries, as you can see here. But we will talk about how to charge LiPo batteries today. This charger can charge batteries with multiple cells. The charger comes with different cables, instructions, connectors and a cable. It is easy to use. It is connected to a regular power outlet and then it charges the batteries using these output sockets with a cable. The cable that's used to charge the batteries has a connector which then connects to another wire with different types of plugs so that you can plug different types of batteries. It's important not to be confused with the polarity of the cables, so the red cable should go to the red socket and the black cable should go to the black socket. And then you can pick up, depending on your battery, the plug you need. So you can have all these cables connected to this cable depending on what connector your battery uses so you can connect batteries with this type of connector this type of connector and this type of connector and if you're not able to find the correct connector as the last resort you can use this clamps I will show you how these clamps can be useful in my case for example so Let's pick up this cable and connect it. So now I'm ready to connect my battery to the charger. Here I have my battery, which is a two cell battery because it has 7.4 volts. All LiPo batteries are made of several cells. For example, I have here another battery and they're made of cells which hold usually 3.7 volts. So in order to understand how many cells your battery has you just need to divide uh, the total voltage by 3.7. So for example this battery is 11.1 .1 voltage battery and uh, by dividing it by 3.7 you'll get 3. So you see here 3 cells. This one would have 2 cells. Another way to understand how many cells you have is to look at the uh, plugs of these batteries. Uh, they can have different number of pins on the on this kind of cables here which can be used for charging and uh, some chargers charge these batteries via these cables and this charger will be using both cables the main cables that provide power to remote control toys and uh, this cable which is used to control the voltage of each cell so for example if you want to charge this battery, you will plug it into here. It's a three cell battery and here you have a diagram which would tell you that this is a three cell plug. And then here you have a two cell battery and on the diagram we can see a two cell plug here and you will plug it here. Anyways, you won't be confused because all plugs are unique you will know which plug will go where. You will only need to know the specifications of your battery to be able to set up the charger correctly because this charger doesn't detect what battery you are going to use. And some settings should be set up manually. Now I'll show you how to do that. This charger is called balance charger because it is able to charge each cell equally in the battery. LiPo batteries are very sensitive to how you charge them, so it's important to charge all cells in the same manner. Also, this charger allows you to charge it up to the storage voltage levels, which is also important because these LiPo batteries cannot stay charged fully if you're not going to use them in the future. If you keep them fully charged, they will get deteriorated with time. Also, you cannot discharge them to very low voltage because they will also get bad and uh, this charger allows you to discharge these batteries to the acceptable lowest level so 
as you remember I said I'll have to use these clamps because my battery has different connectors these are uh, connectors that I attached myself for my RC cars because I'm used to using this spade connectors and uh, for this reason I will have to use these clamps because they easily can be introduced inside of the connector and have contact with the leads of the battery like this and the other one the only thing you need to be careful about ooh, is not to confuse the polarity and it's telling me that I have it in reverse polarity you see it was intelligent enough to let me know well the instructions say that you can destroy your charger if you do that and I didn't pay attention to that while looking at the camera so let's do it quick with the black cable should go with the black cable so we see we had another test which was about to ruin this video but we now know that this device is really good in this sense it can save you the battery and the charger so now we are connected to the battery using only this connection will allow you to charge this battery in a regular mode which will be charging battery using these leads and will not be able to control the voltage of each cell which is not advised for LIPO batteries but maybe could be used for other types of the batteries but let me show you how you set up this for this type of a setup and you should be careful here with this kind of connectors that they don't touch each other Okay, now we'll uh, look at the screen here now. So here are the four buttons that you will use when setting up this charger. And uh, let's check if it's actually detecting the battery itself. It says 7.4, that's correct. But let's do something else with it. So when you push the first button you will be able to choose different types of batteries let's see and some extra functions will be available for you here and now let's see what happens if we push this button uh, okay so this is the time when you after choosing the correct battery can change the rate of the charge and uh, here it is uh, you can increase the charging rate up to here in this case up to 6 amperes and I would choose the lowest rate because the lower is the rate the better the charging quality is and then you go to the next part by pushing this enter button again and here by playing with these buttons you choose what voltage you have so you can charge batteries up to 22.2 volts 6 cell LIPO batteries in this case let's select this part and let's go back I just want to see if it detects correctly the battery the charger itself let's say I choose it again like a battery and it stayed in the settings that I've chosen so let's try to turn off the charger and turn on the charger again and it stayed in the settings that I've chosen so it means that this charger doesn't detect what the battery is and in this case of course we haven't even plug into the this cable here which maybe would let the charger know how many cells this has so in this situation when you're going to charge the battery without the balance function without plugging into this cable you need to be careful what you choose so let's choose the correct voltage let's decrease it until 7.4 volts so let's try this one
and as you can see it starts charging and what you see here is that you don't have any information on the cells here because it doesn't get data from each cell which the charger would get from this plug to have information about each cell and which will be a better option for the LiPo battery is to always charge the LiPo battery in a balance charge mode so let's stop this mode and go to the balance charge mode so we need to now plug this cable into one of the plugs here so we plug our battery into one of the sockets and now when we try to charge it and confirm it and go to the second screen and see if we get the data from each cell and yes we do get data from each cell of the battery in this case these are two cells and the balance charger is now charging the battery in the balance mode it will be charging cells and control each cell and make sure that each cell will get equal voltage and here you get first cell, second cell, third cell, fourth, fifth and sixth cell depending on which battery you have, you'll have all this data coming onto the screen now let's check how other modes work now let's go to fast charge mode and let's see what will happen okay it says overcharge because I haven't changed the settings we need to change the settings because this is not a 3.7 voltage battery so we push this button again and change it and now we have it set up correctly pushing enter stop cancel enter confirm confirm and now it starts charging in a fast mode let's stop it and now let's go to the next mode which is lipo storage mode and um, let's start it and in this mode the charger will stop charging the battery when it reaches the storage voltage limit which is usually 3.6 or 3.7 volts let's stop this one and go to the next one and lipo, lipo discharge mode will discharge the battery let's set it up correctly and it will already shows you to what limit it will discharge your battery to so it says one cell battery will go to three volts two cell battery will go to six volts so we choose this one push the button keep it pushed release and it has started discharging the battery let's see voltage per cell and here you see how the voltage is decreasing in the cells in the first and in the second cell it has decreased and this is how the battery will be discharged up to three volts per cell let's stop it and we come back to the first mode which is a regular lipo charging mode